Hello, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm going to run through the very basic beginner's guide to pricing options in Excel. So, to begin with, we have the equity fundamentals, uh, which is the first thing you need. You need the underlying security in order to price the deriving option. So, looking at this, we have the price. Notice that in all these cells, I've actually named it named cell here by just clicking here and typing price. I've actually named the cell after what it stands for. And I'll come to why I did that in a second. So we have the strike, the risk free interest rate, and then I've actually done two different models here on the risk free rate. Because in the formulas, at some point, the formulas preferred when it's uh, in this format, and some people prefer when it's um, a number as uh, divided by 100. So the same was done with volatility. And time to expiration is uh, derived from here. So we have two different forms. So that's just. 10 divided by 365, and the same with dividend yield, and variable 1 and variable 2 are again used to calculate the Greeks. So the Greeks are very helpful in identifying exactly um, what, uh, how our option will react to the underlying security. So in this sense, we can see that theta is um, relatively high because theta tends to increase in the last month of the option. And you can see here that um, uh, again in the formulas for the Greeks, I've used the names of the cells in the calculations. Because when you have big formulas, for example in theta, there is a lot of things that can go wrong and when you have a lot of figures and a lot of cell references such as B2 or B3, is never very pretty. So to begin with, I've got the two choices here of a call or a put, which is very handy because there's two formulas for most of the Greeks whether it is a call or a put. So here you can see that there's two formulas if A6 is equal to call, this formula here, and then at some point it breaks off about here, I think, and uh, calculates it if, it was, if it's a put. And uh, we have Gamma, Vega, and Rho. So these are the main uh, Greeks. And if you want to copy the formula, then you can just freeze the frame when I'm going over the separate cell. Otherwise, you can just download it in the description. So what can you do with this data? Well, to begin with, uh, obviously you can price it. But you know you can price it in software. But in saying that, you know, although you, there's a lot of software that you can use to price, it's always nice if you want to build a tailored model. For example, you might have a portfolio of Greeks, a portfolio of options, and you want to see what your overall theta is going to be for the portfolio. So there are strategies and hedge funds out there that run short puts only, which is the same as, you know, selling earthquake insurance and uh, selling, I think I was referred to as volcano insurance, but um, that doesn't mean that not good strategies, but um, uh, they do exist. And this can also be helpful in building a scenario analysis, a sensitivity analysis, probability analysis, and uh, you know, it's really the first step for anything that you want to model in options. So. Uh, you also might want to add a American or European pricing function, or do binomial pricing as well, which uh, can be done as well, as well. Um, and uh, really extend it. But uh, anyway, I'll leave you with this for the time being. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck in modeling your options budget.